The knife may seem like an outdated weapon that has no place in this era of push-button mass death weaponry. However, the knife is still a very dangerous personal combat weapon if it falls into the hands of a skilled and experienced user. Choosing wisely, among the many options that have been constructed by the world's top-rated brands, we have compiled a list of the most magnificent and deadly knives ever designed. Microtech Yag Commando To inflict serious, permanent, and perhaps deadly damage, Samurais, Marines, and Seals are taught to stab and twist with the knife. This results in torn organs and the release of an uncanny amount of blood. With the Yag Commando Integral Tri-Dagger Fixed Blade Knife, the aforementioned technique will hardly be necessary thanks to its razor-sharp, tri-edge design. The twisted design delivers maximum internal damage that couldn't be produced by any other puncturing weapon. A hollow handle with a screw-off butt cap, glass breaker, and lanyard hole makes the Yag Commando a useful survival tool. The handle is easy to grip, in part because of its size, but also because it's textured with a deep waffle pattern. It safely holds small essentials, such as medicines, fishing hooks, or money. The glass breaker consists of a small rectangular protrusion on the end of the butt cap that provides a direct point of impact when hitting upon a surface. In addition to breaking glass, it can be used as a non-lethal defense for striking an attacker. Top Knives 1027 Loosely based on common karambit designs, the Topps 1027 is definitely a unique approach. The angles and shape of the knife are perfect for the reverse grip popular with karambit knives, but you can use it quite easily in a traditional hammer style grip as well. Slashing and ripping cuts are performed quickly to make this knife dangerous in the right hands. The Topps 1027 is sizable and powerful, yet comfortable to hold and use. Made of thick 1095 high carbon steel, it features a strong point, long sweeping belly, and sawback design. The large forward finger choil and pummel ring allow for standard or reverse grip and can accommodate even larger hands. Grooved black G10 handles, as well as the index finger hole, help avoid slipping and provide a secure grip, making it easy to deploy. It can be easily carried into the field, with the included black Kydex sheath able to be worn on your belt or attached to your gear. This knife is sure to intimidate any opponent, especially in self-defense situations. Benchmade Claymore Automatic I don't think it's a surprise by this point for me to say that Benchmade makes very well-designed knives, but the Claymore is exceptional. The core goal of its design is to make a folding knife that's super strong and capable of standing up to anything the hard-wearing user would throw at it. The Claymore is a solid knife that performs just as well as it looks owing to the durable opening action, locking blade, and well-designed handle. The handle in particular is the shining feature of the knife, with jimping placed carefully on the top and bottom of each side of the grip to allow your fingers to get a good purchase of the handle. The 3.6-inch blade of the Claymore is made from CPM D2. This is a processed version of the venerable D2 tool steel that's been powderized and re-smelted giving the final metal more balanced properties and better edge retention. Since this is an automatic knife expressly designed for law enforcement and special ops, possession or carrying of the Benchmade Claymore may be restricted in some countries. But that doesn't make it any less attractive. Cold Steel Kukri The Kukri is the everyday knife of the Nepalese people, who use it for everything from harvesting crops to chopping firewood. This model from Cold Steel is made to work. It is relatively inexpensive as far as machetes go, and as a result, there aren't any fancy adornments. That's not a bad thing, as you're getting exactly what you need, a workhorse, without paying for decoration. Plus, you won't be afraid to use and abuse it, fearing that you'll damage the finish or some such. The forward curve of the blade makes it look as though it will be unbalanced, but that's not the case at all. It swings very well and it cuts deeply into the target. Whether you're chopping branches or cutting open a shooting lane just before hunting season begins. It comes with a sturdy sheath that can be worn on the belt if desired. Gerber Mark II Originally introduced in 1966, Gerber's Mark II fixed blade knife isn't just one of the oldest tactical combat cutting tools still in production. It's one of the best and most iconic 
period. From its long dagger style 420HC with double serrations to its die cast aluminum handle, this is a pure tactical combat blade in every sense. Measuring up at an impressive 12 and 3 quarter inches overall and with a weight of 8 ounces, it comes with a ballistic nylon sheath for easy carry. One of the best selling knives of all time, the Mark II is the benchmark against which other tactical knives are measured. The classic features remain applicable on today's battlefield. The double serrated blade for maximum piercing capabilities, the exaggerated bolster for confident grip, and the unmistakable 6.5 inch 420HC steel blade. The Mark II isn't just another tactical knife, it is a piece of history that you can carry on you. CRKT Provoke You won't have to worry about getting caught off guard with this folding knife by your side. The CRKT Provoke uses a kinematic operation to deploy the sharp, curved blade immediately. As you hold the knife, your thumb will intuitively rest on the deployment curve, and when you apply slight pressure to this point, the blade will spring into action. The blade length is 2.41 inches and consists of D2 tool steel with a nitride coating for extra durability and rust resistance. The handle is a CNC machine 6061 aluminum alloy with a black anodized coating. When folded, this knife fits comfortably in the palm of your hand for optimal control. Benchmade Infidel Yes, we know, the automatic out in front version of this knife is much more fun and far more ominous in appearance, but for this list, we're going to focus on the fixed blade, since it has fewer moving parts and is much less prone to something failing. OTF blades are fast and fun to deploy, but it's pretty difficult to design something more reliable and durable than a traditional fixed blade. The 4.52 inch double-edged spear point blade consists of American D2 tool steel and comes in at a huge 62 HRC rating, which is really hard compared to most other knives. The Infinel was never designed to be a highly versatile tool as you move from task to task on the ranch, but more so to be carried on you through dangerous lands and uncertain times. This is the kind of knife you carry when there are no easy outs or nearby aid. This is the knife that decides whether or not you continue your mission, whether that be defending your family or fighting off an insurgent in combat. Of course, this knife isn't exactly a fantastic EDC, and there are many knives that are fairly lethal for protection but offer more versatility and utility. But come on, there aren't many knives on the market that look as ominous as the Infidel.